So guys, finally some sunshine after about three or four days of constant rain. Everybody on the campsite is basking in a bit of sun, getting out doing a few odd jobs. We've got quite a few other YouTubers with us and Instagram guys. You'll recognise this van no doubt, very distinctive. We are those weirdos with their yellow submarine decals. Terrific van this is, really great. Love all the little details inside as well. I'm sure we can have a proper look around that a bit later on. John's just busy helping them out with their electrics at the moment because they seem to have a bit of an issue with their battery to battery charger at the moment. Let them carry on. Obviously we've got the gadget van with us. Right here, Mandy and John. And then over here is Dom. And we are those weirdos. Hi Dom. Hi Greg. And this little van here is the Explorers. Hello. Hiya. Hey. Hey Greg. Oh, 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 hang on. We've done it now. <laughs> and their van's being heavily guarded by their little dogs. <laughs> Very heavily guarded. But we'll have a we'll have a little tour of that a little bit later on, I think. Yeah, but, yeah. <laughs> right guys, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of a tour around of this beach park up at Tarifa. It's quite a big stretch of ground here. It's just on the opposite side of the main road to the beach. There is a little few car parking spaces at the beach, but apparently there's no overnight parking there. So generally, anybody who comes down here, this is where they're going to stay. As you can see in the background there, there's quite a bit of ground here. Vans and motorhomes parked all over the place. A couple of guys behind me are setting up to do some kite surfing. That seems to be the most popular thing here at this stretch of beach. It's really famous for it, to be honest. I'll um, throw in a couple of little photographs here right in the middle of the season when it's just absolutely crazy with surfers down here. But there's vans from all different countries here. A couple of guys in the background there playing keepy-uppies. <laughs> Terrific little vibe here though, you know, everybody's just super friendly. I mean that's what we've found in the van community all over. Everybody's more than happy to show you their van, have a chat, chill out. You know, it's really cool little vibe. Never ceases to amaze me how you can come to one of these sites and no two vans are the same. You know, they're all completely different. You can see these guys have got like smaller van conversions. Have a look in the distance there, you can see there's a horse box conversion. Obviously loads of room in there. Another couple of vans there. And even, you know, conventional motorhomes as well. So, you know, it's not exclusive as all types of people doing the van life. And this has got to be one of the most distinctive vans driving around. Obviously, I guess you can see it was a, an ex-DHL delivery van by this nice bright yellow colour. But what the guys have done with the graphics and the yellow submarine logos and so forth is absolutely fantastic. I'm sure they probably get inundated with comments and people coming up to them wanting to know more about the van. Yeah, but what a brilliant idea, really cool. So on our little park up here in Spain, we've been met by we are those weirdos and can you guys just explain who you are and tell all of you yep we're a family of three myself dom and our daughter rosie who's 11 and um, we've got two dogs and two cats and we're traveling in our converted sprinter van how long have you guys been in the van uh, we're in our eighth month of full-time van living now and what sort of areas have you visited so far yeah. Uh, we're a little bit tied because we uh, we go back to England every eight to twelve weeks, so we tend to uh, drive really fast through France, get to Spain, do a bit of Portugal. So so far it's been France, Spain, Portugal. Um, we ducked into Holland briefly as well. And Belgium, yeah. When I mean, you're living in the van full time, yeah. Yeah, living in the van full time. How do you find getting on with the cats and dogs in such a confined space? a bit of a challenge and it, it's interesting especially when it's rainy weather and we're all cooped up inside uh, lots of stepping over because bogey's quite a large dog so he yeah. takes up all the available floor space and the cats 
hop from perch to perch, back of the seat to the beds to the kitchen. Uh, but it's we all enjoy it, and we think that the pets are actually enjoying themselves much more living on the van than they ever did in the house. So that's nice. Well, we're going to take a look inside because your van's really unique. I'll get some shots of the outside, and then we'll have a look indoors. Okay, Rose is going to give us a little tour of your van. So, so we're starting with the living area. Have have our up, upper shelf here. We had to fit all the woodwork in this board. We just used to store various things like shopping bags and, and clay. I notice you've also got the swivel seat, as same as ours, isn't it? Yeah, we have a fitted swivel for our, our front seat. So it gives you a lot more room, doesn't it? Yeah, the driver's seat is also stationary there. Yeah. And we have, have the back seats, which is for me and and my brother when he's round. You've have got an older brother that comes with you at some times, isn't it? Yeah, so you have to have specific Yeah, so you've got the seat belts obviously that. there on that seat. Mm -hmm keep you safe and then further back I like your storage idea up here for your spice jars that's really cool yeah yeah we've begin to, begun to decorate several areas of the van with shells and things just make it a bit more colorful I guess mm -hmm. we have these these latches for our drawers this drawer it likes to, to fall out so we have two but most of them we just have one one latch it's a good way to keep them closed really though, isn't it? yeah also down here under the storage we have the cat box, oh, okay, yeah. which our cats use. There used to be a cat flap on it, but the cats didn't really like that, so. So they're both happy living in there together, are they? Yeah. Cool. Then we have a bit more storage here for things like nappies for our old dog and dog food. And then it's your kitchen area. Uh-huh. We have a, a, a very big fridge with a lot of stickers and magnets and things. Is this a 12 volt fridge, miss? Yeah, yeah 12 volt compressor volt. fridge, yeah. Loads have of storage a, in there. A counter, which usually houses cat food at night, the water bowl. And a couple of gas burners there, I see. Yep. Nice big sink. Hmm. Which has this separate basket for washing up. In there, it's actually just a. That's a huge sink you've got there, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. With this tap, it, the, the handles don't actually work, but we have a foot pump. Ah, for you've got water. a foot pump. Yeah, yeah. And in here, we have our grey water and our gas tank so you just manually take your containers out when you want to empty them yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's 10 litre it's the one that came with our uh, <coughs> uh van heater our diesel heater ah, okay and we don't have hot water it's just cold single foot pump then we have have a knife rack some various washing up and cooking appliances <laughs> and then we come to the the top bed so who sleeps on the top and who um, sleeps on the bottom? Usually Morph, the black cat, sleeps on the on the top almost every night. <laughs> usually this little tabby, Leo, sleeps down here with me. Uh, this is also... And your beds are permanently fixed in position, are they? No. The, oh, bottom, the bottom bed can separate oh, okay. and make a seating area. Oh, that's good. And the top bed can winch up with boat winches oh, to wow. the ceiling. Oh, okay. Um, it's it's a faff, so we don't do it hardly ever yeah, because sure. you've got to clear it all out. But you can see, um, if you look in the, the back doors, you can see the boat winches. Essentially, this, this bed will raise up yeah. and then you can make this bottom area into two bench seats. Yeah, that's a really cool idea. And then down here we have, have my bed. Yeah, you've really used the space really well, haven't you? Well, because we thought we were travelling with four of us when we thought we had Phoenix as well. Um, having our bed up the top, squashing it out the way, uh, the kids needed their own space. Mm. So we've actually got some wooden divider boards that we can put in. The kids have got curtains front and back. So the bottom double bed converts into two singles. Yeah, obviously with the kids being the age that they are, yeah. you need to have some separate space. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It worked really well. They both enjoyed yeah. it, so that it felt quite comfy. And they've got um, at the other end, they've got curtains. If they open them, they can see out their portholes, so it's ah, cool. roomy. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One was like, hi! Yeah. Oh, it's so friendly. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, well, you want to cuddle as well. <laughs> <laughs> so Don, what made you decide to uh, paint it like the yellow submarine then? <laughs> um, it kind of snowballed because we, we liked the idea of having a yellow van and uh, I'm a bit of a Beatles fan as well um, so it was going to be yellow submarine we looked at all you know kind of uh, coppery pipes and making it all uh, like the inside of a submarine a little thought, bit sort of steampunky yeah yeah that kind of thing and then along the way we decided maybe that wouldn't be too warm and comfortable so we kind of progressed to a Moroccan kind of colour scheme so we picked out the different colours from a Moroccan palette and then it kind of became half yellow submarine, half Moroccan. Um, and I think, you know, it's, it's, it, I think it worked. Yeah, I mean, it looks amazing. I was a bit worried because, you know, when you get like eight different bright colours and you chuck them in a pot in a small van, I thought, oh, maybe it's not going to work. Um, but it, uh, you know. It complements the graphics on the outside yeah, yeah, really well, yeah. though, didn't it? Yeah, so when, when I did the graphics, we picked out different colours from different things to tie it all together, from the wheels to the colours inside. Um, and it kind of became its own beast, really, as we went along. And then you must get stopped everywhere you go. People want to know about it, I guess. Yeah, we've had random Spanish people singing Yellow Submarine to us in uh, <laughs> supermarket car parks. And it's not exactly very stealth. Yeah. So we do get, you know, nice strangers coming up to us and having a quick peek and asking us what we're doing and that's what it's all about though isn't it really absolutely yeah yeah yeah, yeah and we don't lose it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're quite often parked up you know if we're, if we're in an area with lots of other vans and there's like uh, 55 white vans three beige vans and then us yeah. <laughs> so when it's dark it's like there we are <laughs> Brilliant. now you guys are just mainly on instagram aren't you for your sort of vlogging your travels we are yeah we've got, we've got a blog we're being a bit slow on picking that up. Okay. We started a YouTube channel, but we haven't been brilliant at following it through. We, okay. We're just getting stuck into filming again. Now. So you put stuff on your website as well as on Instagram? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I'll put all the links to these guys' channels in the description below. So please do go and check them out. This van's just awesome. Thanks for letting me have a look around. Oh, you're welcome. It was a pleasure. Cheers. So we're here with the Explorers at uh, Tarifa in Spain, There's another van life couple that are travelling. But you live here in Spain, don't you? It's different to everybody else. So, yeah. Yeah. British originally, when did you come across to Spain? Or? Well, it's a long story, we won't bore you with all the details, but um, yeah, we came basically about 15, 20 years ago, Sarah, yeah. a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. And then we um, we bought a house out here okay. about 10 years ago, a yeah. little fixer-upper, so a quite a cheap property and then did all the work ourselves and um, yeah. But we actually spend more time in the van travelling than we do in our little house, don't we? Mm. We went away for a few years and we always planned to have a base here in Andalusia because we'd lived here and it is the best climate in Europe really. Yeah. There's nowhere we, you know, it's nowhere better in the winter. So okay. we, this is a base and then yeah, from here we can, we just go off and been off on a few big adventures, believe it or not, in this old boy. As well as yourselves in, in this little van, you've also got your two little dogs with yeah. you. Yeah, yep. So is that a bit of a challenge with the, with the dogs as well? Well, this, that one, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, who's the real star of the show, most people's favourite. We don't have favourites. <laughs> but yeah, he's the real star of the show. and. It can be challenging, but there's so many benefits to having dogs as well, like yeah. security. Yeah, sure. And um, wow, well, just yeah. Yeah. Perfect. And they love it. They really. love living in the like life on the road, especially Charlie. He's just out all day long. We spend most of our time outside because our van is quite small. Sure. Mm. So, so what is your van, Nick? What type of van is it? It's a 29-year-old. I know he looks younger. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it looks in good nick, but, actually. Um, yeah, it's just the paint. No, um, it's a yeah, 29-year-old Ford Transit 2.5. He was converted 
from Germany originally, and I think this conversion was done like 10, 15 years ago. Or something, was it? So it, exactly. it's not a self-built van. This van was already a camper when you had it. Yeah. 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 But we have made some quite a few changes. Yeah, we have made a few changes and. Sarah's gone to town. A little bit. Yeah, personalised yeah. it, added your yeah, little stamp on it. A bit of colour. Yeah. 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 So what are your sort of plans for travelling in the immediate future? Have you got plans to go anywhere in particular? Or? Yeah, well, we've, as I said, we've done two big trips. Um, and then this year we're going back to the UK. Oh, wow. Yeah. Because we've never really explored the UK. Okay. I mean, we go back on small holidays to visit yeah, family. Yeah, sure. but it'd be nice to go and see Scotland and Wales and proper explore for... Explore? Explore. Explore. <laughs> explore. <laughs> For a, for a few months, Brilliant. so yeah. That's the plan, and then after that, who knows, the world's your oyster. Or maybe just Europe in this van. <laughs> if we go a different van in the future, which we do plan to, then we may go further afield. Oh, you may be thinking of changing the van, perhaps, or getting another van, are you? Yeah, don't. <laughs> oh, yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> but, but no, this, this trip, for sure, um, yeah, this year we'll be keeping him and see how he goes. Yeah. After going. seeing your van, <laughs> you're to blame for yeah, this. <laughs> it would obviously be nice to get something a little bit bigger a bit and space. a little bit newer, um, probably yeah. in the next sort of Do year. Do you have or many so. mechanical issues or anything with the van? Or no, he's been quite good Touch actually. Wood. Touch wood. Touch wood. Touch wood, he's been really good. I Two big strips now. And <laughs> yeah. Touch wood, yeah. probably on about 30,000 kilometres, I'd say, probably Plus, for the two trips more. Wow. Yeah. He's yeah. had. Brakes, just the wear and tear. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. 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 So he, he's old and he's slow, but he gets the job he done. He keeps going. Yeah. That's amazing, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> but it looks really cozy, yeah. you guys. It yeah. looks Thank amazing. You. So, if any of you guys are not aware of these two, <laughs> I'll put all the usual links in the description. Please do check them out. They put out some fantastic videos. Really nice to meet you. Yeah, pleasure. Nice. Always a pleasure. Nice to meet you, Sarah. Nice yeah. to meet you. Yeah, it's been a fantastic time. Yeah, yeah. And good luck on your travels. Yeah, cheers. Same to you. Cheers. And we'll see you on the road again. <laughs> Thanks, <mate. laughs>sunny day and look who we come across Eamon and Beck yeah morning, what's going everybody. on Greg really nice to meet you guys oh, we've actually been pleasure. chatting with Greg for a little bit he's been uh, helping us with our battery system which yeah. we, we super appreciate yes. we've been following you guys for ages I just wanted to ask you I know your latest videos have been you've had quite a bit of trouble haven't you since yeah. you know, you've been in Spain but are you enjoying your trip still even though that you've had a couple oh, of little setbacks absolutely so. there's never been a place or a country or a town that I haven't loved for some reason you can always look at it on the positive side but i would say that we've found spain to just 
uh, be a little bit more challenging because we had a break in yeah, and sure. uh, and some run-ins with the cops. We have Canadian license plates, so it's very quick and easy to pull it's us over. It's going to be a huge challenge when you're in a completely different country, though. Isn't it? Definitely. Yeah, Absolutely. and then after you have an incident like that, you 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 take security so seriously. So anytime we go to the beach, we're bringing all of our gear. And we're just a little bit more on edge, so it takes time to kind of chill into it again. Yes. But you've met up with some really cool guys, I guess, on your travels. Oh, yeah. Well, that's just it, right? It's always about the people when yeah. you're traveling and yeah. who you get to meet and meeting people like you and just coming across like amazing locals or whatever it, it might be. They really shape your experience to always be positive. For well, sure. I know from our point of view, it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you guys. Oh, oh likewise. Thank likewise. You so much. We're trying thank to convince guys. Greg to come to Morocco, but he's saying maybe <laughs> next year. Yeah, so we you have to stay we'd, tuned for that we'd love to do that definitely yeah, yeah that's definitely on our to-do list yeah, i think awesome. we'll be the uh, guinea pigs as they call it we'll head <laughs> in for everyone and document it and and show you the the crazy and That'd the not brilliant. crazy parts yeah, and for, the, for the one or two people who don't know you oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll put all the links down there so go Appreciate and check it. these ch these guys channel out thank you so much yeah, they've got some awesome content Thank awesome. you. Thanks yeah. a lot, Greg. Pleasure, pleasure meeting you. Oh, and, and enjoy. Oh, Greg, come on. <laughs> enjoy Morocco. Appreciate Thank it, you man. So Thank much. you very much. Yeah. Cheers. We really and appreciate it. We'll be following everything. you and messaging you. Oh, please. Yes, that's perfect. We'll stay in touch. Awesome. The guys have been traveling over here from Canada and were suffering with the European weather and the lack of solar power. So we're more than happy to pitch in and help them out. The sun's been shining all day. Get the coffee machine on. Get the yeah. <laughs> you don't need coffee if you got beer, man. <laughs> Greg, have you fixed it yet? Yeah, it's all done, mate. Sure? Yeah, no How problem. long did it take? <laughs> only, it more than half an hour? No, it's only, only, only half an hour. <laughs> Not even that. <laughs> this stop over in Tarifa will certainly rank as one of our most memorable. We've met some absolutely fantastic people on this leg of our trip. I know we've got more exciting things on the horizon. So please make sure that you subscribed, tick the little bell notification button, and thank you very much for watching guys. Cheers! Oh,